Hello, Bob here at JD Squared. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick example of how we create a part in a third party program and impart import that part into Camelot our bending and rotating cutting software anyway I've got SolidWorks up here because that's what we use and I'm going to do this very quickly um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create ourselves a very simple tube and if you were using Fusion 360 um, or on shape or any other program it, it just doesn't matter um, they're all going to work basically the same way um, there might be a few differences out there but essentially they're going to kind of be like this so let's zoom out here and like i said all we're doing is we're making ourselves a uh, we're going to make ourselves a so i'll tell you what we're going to we're going to make a guardrail this time okay something kind of simple now uh, another when i say guardrail i'm, I'm in my mind we're going up some of uh, some stairs here so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to make the equal real quick this isn't really a lesson on solidworks but i'm just giving you an idea we're going to say that it was uh you know 10 feet or something 120 inches and then and we're going to say that the step distance between the floor and the top stairs is um let's say 72 inches you know so and now we got to say that the height of the guardrail itself is going to be 36 inches. And that that's kind of um, our, what we're looking for right there. And, and now what we want to do is we're going to put some bins in it. I will say here, yeah, I know all about it. Oh, I better put a bend on it that we can kind of achieve. Let's go ahead with a, I don't know, a, a six inch, you know. Okay, and then we're going to say, come on now there it is and here and here okay and we'll say okay okay that's our part right there we're going to get out of it now we are going to quickly let's go over to features and we want to swept not i'm sorry not a swept deal um get out of that i am looking for a yeah swept oh i'm sorry i didn't pick the one contour my bad anyway there you go there's our guardrail right there uh, or our stair that we've just created in solidworks now just so you'll know our frame editor would have created this actually much easier than this but that's a um a subject of the frame editing video itself this is more of a video showing hey i've created parts in another design software you know how the heck do i get them into your software anyway we've got this part here so first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to save it and let's just go ahead and put it in our test pieces and we're going to let's go ahead and save this as a uh, you know uh what do you want to call it a stair you know stair rail or something like that yeah sounds good to me okay we'll call it a stair rail all right so we're going to say save now what we need to do is we need to export it from our program into what's called a step file now in the flat world a they use dxfs drawing exchange format in the 3d world a very common format to exchange models is step and i just and all but we currently are using step which is the most popular one i believe let's go ahead save it as a step file and we save it all right now we've got that so back to our program how are we going to process this on our benders or our um our cutter well, first thing we're going to do, obviously, we're going to open Camelot, and then we're going to import the file, and we are going to bring in the stair rail. And there's our part. And now it's saying, do we want to detect features? We're going to say yes, because the features are are basically the bends you know we didn't really do much cutting on this the ends like if we had mitered it it would have picked that up if we had holes but it's really just got bends now it's telling you straight up over here on the right side you see in bright red you know you don't even have that die in stock and the bends are not the same you know they're different um I'm not sure why they're different. I, I guess I may have I've done something wrong there, but we're going to fix that. This is not a big deal. So do we want to edit them? Um, uh, uh, yeah, let's say okay. You know. All right. What it did, it opened up our frame editor, brought it in, and highlighted the individual bins. Now, what it's done 
is it has applied the current active die set and I'm going to show you what that is we're going to click select up but remember this part is inch and a half OD right um, the select the die set active is 1.327 well clearly that's not going to work so we need one that's an inch and a half OD um, another thing we could do here we could select only dies available and what this means is you have every die in your facility in stock that will create those bins so we select that and let's just say that it's an inch and a half which it is 095 chromoly we could change that if we want and we're going to go ahead and use these this particular die right here um, for well you know what let's let's use mile steel who's going to use chromoly for a stair rail we're going to use this one right here we have that die and we're going to say close and make selective die active notice it changed up here a little bit this is how we are going to modify it now if we select just a bend it will only apply to that bend or we could select them both with the control key or as a shortcut just select on a, on a straight edge and it will highlight them all now we are going to apply the active die to the bends and there you go now notice all dies are in stock yep we can make that bend and they're all the same radius and that's your guardrail there so now the next step in this process would be let's go ahead and bend this thing up so we are going to left click to select the tube we're going to right click and we're going to say bend it okay now it's going to tell us a couple things if we select the dimension tab up here is telling us that this part is 198 doggone near 199 inches long um that's pretty that's a pretty long piece of tubing but if you look at the dimensions right here the red bands are the lead in where where do you put your mark to line up on your die set the green bands are the actually the part that is being bent you know the the part of the tube that actually bends um, looking at this part right here we're not going to want to make this bend first and then this one here from that edge right there because you're going to have this tube and it's going to be hanging out your bender um, well 159.96 inches that, that's a little bit too far so what we're going to do first is let's go ahead and change the bend direction on this one to the end see the red band switch over here now the tubing is only going to be hanging out this distance right here at this point it's giving you all your information over here um, you know about the size of the material and everything like that go back to animation view and let's go ahead and let's let's run it so you see how we fed it through we rotated it we made it in our bender and now we flipped it around and we bent we bent that direction and that's how you would accomplish you know that that process of designing a guardrail and bringing it into our program now another cool thing about it is um, let's say you do this a lot um, there's a thing out there called um, templates um, in some programs and all to where they predefine shapes for you I kind of got away from that idea because I, I talked to a lot a lot of people and essentially well we just made a guardrail template so the next time I mean a stair rail so the next time I wanted to make a stair rail a stair rail I would literally just open this part right click on it edit with my frame editor and at this point using other things that I'm not going to show you here because that's a complete different video we can easily edit these points right here to um, to any size we want so you basically could create a template extremely quickly on your own that's probably better suited to what what you want you know anyway that was the process of creating a simple part bringing it into Camelot and then actually bending it and getting the dimensions I hope this video has helped you and thank you very much um, for watching and have yourself a great day bye